Our headlines today. A UK first as a woman successfully donates her womb to her sister. A groundbreaking transplant hailed by doctors as a medical milestone. She's doing really, really well. She has started having menstrual periods and that means her prospects of having a baby are very high. Dramatic scenes as six children and two adults are safely rescued from a cable car left dangling hundreds of feet above a ravine in a remote part of Pakistan. Good morning. Have Nike scored an own goal by not selling a replica England women's goalkeeper shirt? Are we looking at the huge market for football jerseys? In sport this morning, a blow to England's Rugby World Cup hopes as captain Owen Farrell sees his ban reimposed, meaning he'll miss their first two matches of the tournament. Happy birthday to Blackpool's Big Dipper, thrilling holiday makers for the past century and 100 years old today. And an airport in France is going to be renamed in honour of Queen Elizabeth II after receiving permission from the King. Le Touquet in northern France received the blessing from the King on Monday. It will be named Elizabeth II Le Touquet Paris Plage International Airport. Wow. <laughs> You're yeah. going to need a really long ticket to I get know, that on, I aren't hope, you? I hope it's a long airport. They've got a lot of letters to put on the top, haven't they? Uh, a date for the inauguration <laughs> has not been set. Let's take a look then at see what's dominating the front pages this morning. A bit of a mixed bag this morning, actually. The Guardian reporting on the 12-hour operation to rescue the eight people from a stuck cable car in a remote valley in Pakistan. Express their leading with a potential trade deal between the UK and India, with Business Secretary Kemi Badenoch insisting global Britain is thriving. The Mirror interviews the parents of a girl who almost died in an attack in 1991 by the nurse Beverly Allitt. They say that they've been traumatised by the Lucy Letby case. And a the Telegraph there reporting that the government has been blocked from overruling the expansion of London's ultra-low emission zone. A new world order, the FT leading on Chinese President Xi being honoured in South Africa as the BRICS summit got underway. The Times Air reporting on Chinese spies targeting UK officials through the professional social media platform LinkedIn. And the Mail leads on a fertility landmark as surgeons perform the UK's first womb transplant from a woman to her sister. The Eye calls that story Sister's Gift. And it's also been on the front page of the Metro there. And the Daily Star there bringing us more meteorological misery as it predicts more humid temperatures will bring an invasion of flies. So as you can see, they just shoo them away. <laughs> and if you want to see any of those front pages again or read the stories, just scan the QR code, which is on your screen right now.